After I told my friend Siwat that his prisons were incredibly easy and predictable, I think he might have gotten a little upset because the next day, I woke up in a bedrock prison. What the heck? Where am I? Hello? What just happened? How did I get here? Looks like you're trapped. Oh my god, see what? I told you your prisons are so bad. Well, you're about to have a great time because I made the most difficult prison yet. I trapped you in the dirt prison, and the escape starts now. Dang it, I should have actually watched Siwat's videos, and then I would have known how to escape this. Everything around me was bedrock, so it was clear I wasn't breaking myself out. But that's when I remembered a Siwat trick. He uses F5 to get a different perspective. So, I went into F5 mode, and sure enough, everything changed to wooden planks instead of bedrock. Siwat was clever for trying to pull this simple Minecraft trick, but obviously, I'm too smart for his prisons, and I told him at the beginning that they were super easy, so... I was definitely getting out. The trick to being able to break out of this fake bedrock is to stay in F5 mode so the bedrock looks like oak planks. It's a simple trick, but it works. After I broke the oak plank, I had officially escaped the first room of what was supposed to be the toughest escape room in the world. Now, I know when Siwat escapes his prisons, he always makes sure to check the room for extra items. So, I took a look around for any item frames or items that I missed, but I didn't see anything, so I decided it was clear to move on to the next room. I walked into the next room only to see a giant pit of lava. I got rid of this extra piece of bedrock because why would anyone keep an extra block in their inventory? I looked around and all I saw was a one by one hole at the top. Somehow I needed to get up there, but obviously there was nothing in this room to help me. But that's when I saw a bucket and an item frame. I grabbed the bucket off the wall, but now I was confused. Maybe I was supposed to find something under the lava? I picked it up, but all there was under the lava was just bedrock. But that's when I had another absurd idea. There's a rare feature in Minecraft called the power of imagination. And if I changed the texture of lava to water, it might actually become water if I believe hard enough. There's no way he actually figures this one out. Knowing this secret technique, I opened up my resource pack folder and I found the Evbo special pack. I equipped it and sure enough, it changed all the lava to water. This method is extremely dangerous. So if you're watching this, please don't try this at home. Now that the lava was all water, I used my bucket of water to climb up this one by one column and I got to the next room. But before I did anything, I knew it was really smart to never carry items from the previous rooms because they would never help you. So I threw away the water bucket. Now I took a good look around the next room of the escape room and all I saw was this wall of leaves. I was about to start breaking until not so fast. I wouldn't try that. I specifically got rid of your ability to break leaves. So you can try breaking the wall all you want, but it won't work. Shoot, so I couldn't break the leaves myself. Okay, so now I had to think. But that's when I remembered a rare Minecraft feature called Minecraft Multiplayer. You see, if someone has the server IP to your world, they can actually join your world that you're on currently. So I went to the only person I could possibly trust and I asked him to come on the server to help me break out of this prison. Come on, please work, please work. Hey, what's good? I got your message. You need some help? Yo, Grox. All right, look, all I need for you to do is just to break these leaves. Oh, I bet. I got you, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, did he just bring Grox onto the server? I can't even be mad. That that was just genius. All right, is that it? Yeah, you're good, bro. Seawatt's prisons are so trash, so I could probably figure the rest out on my own. All right, see ya, bro. Now that I had gotten access to the next room, I took one last look around and didn't see anything. So I went up the staircase into the next room. But what I didn't see is I accidentally walked over a tripwire hook and a block of TNT appeared in my hand. And then that's when Seawatt said, Looks like you weren't so clever. That tripwire you just walked over placed an exploding TNT in your hand. You only have 10 seconds before that TNT goes off and you die. Shoot, this TNT was gonna explode in 10 seconds, which meant I had about 15 seconds to find a solution. That's when I found a rare Minecraft glitch that involves going deep into Minecraft's code. You see, by doing this, I could figure out exactly what button I needed to press to drop the item in my hand. So, after figuring out that the button was Q, I pressed Q on my keyboard and miraculously, the TNT dropped from my hand. After I was sure the TNT wasn't going to explode, I picked it back up and I looked around the room. I saw a doorway which looked like it was the doorway to the next room of the prison, but it was two blocks up and I couldn't make the jump. Fortunately, I placed down the block of TNT and I could make the jump into the next room of the prison. I walked into yet again another giant room of bedrock and I took a look around to see what I could find, but I didn't see anything except for a small bedrock staircase that led to an iron door. I checked behind the staircase to see if there was an item frame, but there was nothing there. So I went up the staircase, but when I looked through the door, I saw the outside world. I pulled the lever and for a second, I thought I had actually beaten the prison. Dang it. All right. It looks like my prisons might not be the most difficult. Well, 
Congratulations, you just officially beat my craziest escape room. Something felt wrong about this. I think Siwat was trying to trick me somehow. I mean, I knew his prisons were easy, but I didn't think they were that easy. So I closed the door and I went back down the staircase. I don't know what I was looking for, but I had to find the real escape to this prison. I went and did the only thing that I thought was right. I started breaking the pieces of bedrock. After I got both pieces, I blocked up the exit where I came from. Now I had officially no way out, but I wasn't worried because this was all part of the plan. Now I started running in circles as fast as I could. Dude, what are you doing? I said you beat it already. Why aren't you leaving? I ran until my hunger bar was completely gone and started dying of starvation. And my plan finally worked and I died. I had officially beaten Minecraft's most difficult escape room.